Now, amid a massive snoop gate face off in Parliament, here's an equally big, perhaps, U turn by Amnesty International. The civil rights body has reportedly said that it never claimed an NSO Pegasus list of people who were spied upon. Reports say that Amnesty is blaming some global media companies for the confusion. Reports quoting Amnesty say that the list is only indicative and contains names of people uh, who clients of NSO would like to spy on and not the names of people who were actually spied upon. Now, the reports say that a small group of names on the list were indeed spied upon, but there's no clarity on who is in that list who was actually spied upon and who perhaps could have been. Amnesty is, uh, in fact, uh, one of the proponents of this global investigation which was conducted, which said to reveal the list of high-profile individuals allegedly spied on through Israeli Pegasus spyware. Now, the IT minister will be addressing parliament today at 2 p.m. on this entire controversy. It's led to a big political showdown over the last one week. I want to take this across to Monish Pandey. He's joining us live with more details on this. Monish, a lot of confusion, a lot of questions that Amnesty International is facing right now. They are supposedly one of the proponents of this global investigation into the Snoop Gate. But now they're saying that this list perhaps is confusion and hence, you know, it's not necessarily people who've been spied upon, perhaps targets who could have been spied upon. Yes, certainly, uh, Achita, there are several reports by uh, media outlets saying that uh, uh, this uh, list of potential target by the NSO group uh, uh, was something which was uh, of, of interest of NSO group. But now Amnesty International has come out in open and they have said that they never claimed that this was a, a, a list of potential target by the NSO group. This was a investigation conducted by Amnesty International with another um, a group, uh, another France-based group. And uh, uh, now Amnesty International has created certain amount of confusion because it is still not clear and the forensic evidence are also lacking in supporting their evidence saying that, uh, you know, this group was or this list of phone numbers were actually targeted. Also, there were reports that uh, uh, this these people who were targeted, possibly targeted by the NSO group, Okay. All right, Munish, uh, just stay on with us. We're getting a reaction also from the BJP. The head of the BJP, IT Media Cell, Amit Malviya, is joining us on this broadcast. Amit, good morning. Your reaction to what's coming from Amnesty International now? They're saying there's been some confusion.